How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're going to set up this printer on a Mac computer. I've been wanting to make this video for a long time to reference in other videos because the process is pretty much the same for all brands of printers made within the last 10 years or so. And Brother, HP, Canon, Epson, Samsung, and more. And it'll work pretty much with any Mac as well made within the last 10 years or so. iMacs, MacBook Airs, MacBook Pros, Mac Minis, all of those guys, the process should be nearly identical. So in this video, we're going to go over three ways how to set up this printer with a Mac. So if the first way doesn't work, maybe try the second way. If the second way doesn't work, maybe try the third way. And by the end of the video, I'm confident that you'll be able to get your printer working on your Mac. There is an index in the description that goes through the three different ways. The first way is gonna be wireless setup. The second way is going to be using an ethernet cord. And the third way is gonna be going over your wired options and if you need a dongle, depending on what kind of Mac you have. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and let's get into the tutorial. So the first method and the way that most people probably want their printer to be working is wirelessly. The benefits of having it wirelessly, of course, are no wires. Multiple computers can use the same printer. You can kind of hide the printer in a corner or under a desk somewhere and still print perfectly fine. It's probably the best method. And the only really downside is, is that you have to have a wireless network, a wireless router at your house. It takes a little bit of tech skills to hook it up to your wireless network. I'm not gonna go over how to hook it up to your wireless network in this video. I do have a bunch of videos on my channel links to them in the description showing how to hook up HP's brother, Canon, Epson printers. Links to those videos are in the description so you can see exactly how to set it up because it's kind of different on each model. And this is just an overall encompassing video. So if you need help with that, make sure to check the link in the description. If you don't know if your printer is Wi-Fi compatible or AirPrint compatible, I'll put a link in the description as well to a list of all of the AirPrint compatible printers published by Apple that they update every so often as new printer models come out. If your printer has a wireless icon on it, it more than likely is AirPrint compatible, especially if it came out within the last five to 10 years or so. So once you have your printer hooked up to the wireless network, I will see you guys on the computer because then we have to now install the printer through the network. So here we are on our Mac. You're gonna wanna go down here to the system preferences icon and then click on printers and scanners. And if for some reason you don't have that little gear icon down here, you can go to this finder, type in printers and scanners and it should come up as a top hit. You can double click on that and open up the printers and scanners setting. Now from here, it's going to show you the printers that are already installed on your computer. I have a lot of printers, so bear with me. And we're going to be adding a printer by using this plus sign right here. But before we do that, you're gonna wanna make sure you are indeed connected to the same Wi-Fi network that you connected your printer to. If you have two Wi-Fi networks, a 2.4 and a 5G band, either of them should work perfectly fine. Once you double check that you're connected to the same network, you're gonna hit that plus sign and then it should pop up right here under default with the name of the printer that you want to install. We have this HP LaserJet 200 color series. We're going to click on that and it defaults to use the AirPrint driver, which is perfectly fine, and we're going to hit add. Now it's setting up my LaserJet printer. It's gonna take a couple of seconds installing the printer. And as you can see on this left side here, now we have the LaserJet 200. You can set your default printer to whatever printer you want to be installed, and you can also set your default paper size to whatever you want as well. However, we're just going to print a document to show that it is indeed working. For example, if I wanna print this small claims court document, I have it opened right here. I'm going to go to file and then I'm gonna to go to print. You're going to wanna make sure that your printer that you just installed is picked. You have all of these options, what pages you wanna print, if you wanna shrink the page, portrait, landscape, all of that, really don't need to mess with that because I'm just printing it on regular eight and a half by 11. I'm just going to hit print. It's going to send the signal to my router. My router is gonna kick it to my printer. My printer 
should kick on and print the document. And there we go, a beautiful wirelessly printed small claims court petition, wirelessly printed from a Mac computer. Now that we're done with the first method, we're gonna go to the second method, which is installing the printer via ethernet cord. So now we're gonna go over the second method of installing your printer on your Mac, and that is using the ethernet cord method. In order to do this method, you're going to have to have a printer with an ethernet port in the back. That is this guy right here. It fits this cable, and if you don't have this, you might want to skip to the next part of the video, which is going to be installing it via this USB port. It's pretty unlikely that your printer came with this cord, but you might have one laying around your house in a drawer somewhere, or there might have been an extra one included in your router or your modem. That's what the tips look like. It's a little bit wider than a phone cable. It has a little plastic tension prong on it that is used to click in and remove it from devices. The great thing about this method is once it is hooked up, you can print from multiple devices. You could print from different computers, print from iPads, iPhones, or Androids because it is networking your printer onto your Wi-Fi network. You are networking it wired, but it is hooking it up to your Wi-Fi so then other devices can access it through the Wi-Fi network. Grab your cable, and I actually am not gonna be able to use this cable because it's a little shorter than I thought to be able to reach my Wi-Fi router, so I'm gonna use this little bit longer grayish cable, but it's the same cable, just a little bit longer. So you're gonna to wanna to turn your printer around, plug in your ethernet cable. It only goes in one way. The prong should lock in, make a little noise, and should be kind of snug in there. Once you have it plugged into the back of your printer, you're going to take the other end of that cable. You're gonna to have to access your Wi-Fi router, and you're going to plug the other end into the back right here. You can plug it into any slot, but I'm just gonna plug it into slot one. Now that our printer is connected to our Wi-Fi router over there via the ethernet cable, I will see you guys on the computer for the install. So here we are on our Mac. You're going to want to go down here to system preferences and the gear icon, and then go to printers and scanners. If you don't have a gear icon down here, you can go to this finder right here, type in print, errors and scanners, it should come up as a top hit and you can double click on that and open it that way. Now here's where it's gonna show all your printers that have you previously installed on your computer. If you have an old printer on here, you, you can hit the minus button and delete that printer if you want to. But we're gonna be installing this printer, so we're gonna hit the plus button. But before we do that, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you are indeed connected to the same Wi-Fi network that you connected your printer to. If you have two Wi-Fi networks, a 2.4 and a 5G band, either of them should work perfectly fine. Once you double check that you're connected to the same network, you're gonna hit that plus sign and it should pop up automatically with whatever printers are recognized on your network and it can see this HP LaserJet right here that we're trying to install. We click on that it automatically says we're gonna be using the AirPrint driver. That's perfectly fine, and we're going to hit add. It's gonna take a couple seconds to set the device up. It should have the created printer in your little window here, meaning that the printer is indeed installed. Now you're gonna to wanna to open the document that you wanna print. I'm just going to, and then I'm going to hit my print icon right here. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure your destination is picked to the correct printer that you just installed. And we're gonna have to hit this drop down, go to see more. And then I'm looking for my HP LaserJet 200. That's what we just installed. I don't wanna print this in color, so I'm just gonna do black and white. And I'm just gonna print page number one. So I go to custom and I'm gonna print page one because I don't really wanna waste paper. There are some more settings if you do this drop down here, but I'm not gonna worry about any of that. And we're just going to hit print. It's going to send the signal to the router. The router is gonna send it through the ethernet cable to the printer. The printer is gonna receive the job and going to print our document. Look at that, a beautiful 
small claims court document printed through that ethernet cable on our Wi-Fi network. This method has its benefits because you don't have to configure your printer at all. You should just be able to plug it in, install it on your computer and then print. And you can also print on multiple devices because it is indeed hooked up to your Wi-Fi network through that ethernet cable. However, it does need to be close enough to your, eth however, it does need to be close enough in proximity to your router in order to reach with the cable. It has its pros and cons, uh, but it's still a great method on how to install your printer on your Mac. Now we're gonna go to the last method I'm gonna show you in this video, which is using a USB cable. Last but not least, the third way to hook up your printer with your Mac computer is to use the USB cable options. It looks a little complicated with this mess of wires, but we're gonna simplify it to meet your needs. More than likely, your printer came with a cable like this. One of it's a standard USB type A male end, and then the other is a standard USB type B or USB printer scanner end right here. This end is gonna go in the back of your printer, and this end is going to go into your computer. However, if you have an older Mac, it will fit. If you have a newer Mac, it may not fit. That's when the dongle comes in. You have to get one of these conversion dongles that convert USB-C to a USB type A port, or you can get one of these dongles which converts USB to USB-C. You plug it in just like that, and then you can plug this end into your computer. If you don't wanna go the dongle route, you can go on Amazon and buy this cable right here. It is the printer USB type B end to a USB type C. That way you just plug this end to the printer, this end into the printer, and then this end goes right into your computer without any dongles. I will put a link to this cable in the description as well as the dongles so you can have your options and kind of figure out what you wanna do. And for this video, we'll use the standard cable dongle adapter that we have at the house. You're gonna turn your printer around, look for the port, and it only goes in one way, and you're going to plug that into the back of your printer. Then I'm gonna plug that into the dongle, and then I'm going to plug the dongle into the computer. And if you don't need the dongle adapter, you could have just plugged this straight into your MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, iMac, or Mac Mini. Plug it straight in if you have the connection port. However, we don't, so we're gonna use this dongle converter, and then I will see you guys on the computer. So here we are on our Mac. As soon as you plug that USB in, a prompt should pop up within a couple of seconds asking you if you would like to download and install the software for that printer. You're going to hit install. Your computer isn't connected to a power source. I'm just going to continue. I have a lot of percentage left, so we're gonna continue on battery power. And it's basically going to use whatever Apple has in their software to find that driver for the printer, and it's going to automatically install that printer package. And that did take a couple of minutes to install. I sped it up for obvious reasons. And you should probably pause the video while yours is installed. Once yours is installed, you can go down here to your system preferences, this little gear icon, and then you can go over here to printers and scanners. If you don't have the gear icon on your menu bar, you can go to this finder over here, type in printers and scanners, and your top hit is printers and scanners. You can double click on that and then find your printer and then find your printer that way. If it's not over here on the left, you may wanna hit this plus button, see if it pops up here, highlight the USB multifunction, and then you're gonna to go to auto select driver, and, and your Mac computer should find the driver that it's supposed to use. And if for some reason it doesn't select the correct driver, you may have to open up Google, type in the brand of your printer, for instance, Brother HL2270, you gotta type in the model, and then type in Mac driver. You should be able to find a result from the actual manufacturer. So this is from Brother's website, and it does indeed identify my Mac OS. I'm gonna hit okay. And then, that, and then you can install the driver that way. Now I'm gonna print a test page just to show that it is indeed working. 
We're gonna print a page from this small claims petition. We're gonna go up here to print. You wanna make sure that your destination is picked. So we're gonna hit this drop down, see more. And then we're gonna make sure that it's the HP LaserJet 200. We're gonna print it in black and white. We're just gonna print one page. So we're gonna go custom one page. There are some more settings for paper size, how many pages you wanna fit on a sheet. So if, so if you wanna save paper that way for like PowerPoints, and then you can scale it accordingly as well. But we're just going to hit, we're just going to hit print. It's going to send the signal. Send the signal through the cable to the printer. And we do indeed have our beautiful small claims petition printed via the USB cable. USB printing is kind of like a last resort or a backup if your Wi-Fi is not working or if your router's broken. Kind of a pain because you have to be plugged in every single time you print, so yeah, it's... But if you're at like a warehouse or you're at a storage unit or somewhere where you don't have a Wi-Fi router, then USB is your old faithful. It's very reliable and it's going to work. Uh, if you have, there, there are other ways to do it, but these are the easiest main three ways I wanted to highlight in this video. If you're still having problems installing your printer, throw the printer model make and what the problem is in the comment section. Me or somebody else might be able to help you out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.